Welcome to another free Microsoft Access video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's free tip video, I'm going to teach you how to use the DLOOKUP function to look up a value from a table or query without using any programming. I've covered the DLOOKUP function before in some of my other tutorials, but those were all more advanced lessons that involved some programming. In this lesson, I just want to show you one simple way you can use DLOOKUP without any programming to view information from your tables. This is the database that I construct in my full access courses. And if you open up the customer list, pull up a customer, I'll pull myself up here. And uh, each customer has a sales rep assigned then a service tech. And when we're making an order, I'll go to show orders here. Here's an order. It's nice sometimes if you have the sales rep up here to be able just to see their phone number. If each of your sales rep has a different phone number or extension. This sales rep's phone number here is DLOOKUP when I change the sales rep. As you can see, there's a new phone number or there's Joe's phone number. How do I do that? It's real simple. I'm going to switch over to design view and I'm going to delete that phone number field and show you how I built it. Now, Here's a simple combo box where I can pick the sales rep. If you need help learning how to make relational combo boxes where you can pick from a list of values, I've got several other tutorials on how to do that. I'll put a link in the description below the video so you can click on it to find that tutorial. Now I'll grab a blank text box from my toolbox up here, drop it right there, and I'll slide this over just a little bit. This will be the phone number field and I'll format that so it's black so you can actually see it. There we go. Okay, now this right here is where the phone number is going to go. And I'm going to set that equal to a light shade of gray just so the user knows that they can't edit that or change that. It's a locked field. Now, in order to put some data in here, we have to know what we're looking up. Now, the sales rep ID in my table is based on the employee table. Now, the employee table is real simple. Here it is, employee ID, first name, last name, title, and so on. And right over here is their phone number. It's the work phone field. There's also a home phone if you want to use that. But I'm going to look up the work phone field. Okay. So what am I looking up? I'm looking up work phone number from the employee table where the employee ID is equal to whatever value is put in this combo box. And what's the name of this combo box? We'll look at it. This is the sales rep combo. That's the name of that box. It's nice to make sure you know all that stuff before you start fumbling around the code. But here's the text box where we're going to put that information. Now name, you can give it a name if you want to, like sales rep phone. That doesn't matter. You can leave it text 23 if you want to. The control source is where we're going to put our DLOOKUP function. It's going to be equals DLOOKUP. Now, DLOOKUP takes three bits of information as text strings. Expression is what field are you looking up? Well, I'm looking up the work phone field, in quotes, comma. Domain means where, what table or query is this data in? Well, it's in my employee table, comma. And the criteria is where the employee ID, that's the field in the table, equals, close your quotes up, ampersand, sales rep combo and then close your parentheses and that's all it is right D look up the work phone from the employee table where the employee ID equals and then ampersand means tack on a value concatenate something put two fields together basically employee ID equals and then whatever the value in that combo box is if it's a four this will be employee ID equals four Okay, save it. I'm going to close my form and reopen it. And there you can see it right there. There's the phone number. And if I change it, there's Ginger's phone number. Now, before you saw it formatted, so I'll just throw some formatting in here real quick. This field here will format it as a phone number, which looks like this. Those are at signs. It says put one character there. There's three followed by a dash, three more, a dash, and then four more. And now that will give you a nicely formatted phone number. There it is. Using DLOOKUP, no programming required. All you have to know is the DLOOKUP function and how it works. 
If you want to learn more about the DLOOKUP function, and you should, it's a very powerful function, visit my website, look for my Access Expert Level 10 course, and I cover DLOOKUP in a lot more detail. There's tons you can do with DLOOKUP even without programming. In the description below the video, I will put a link to that combo box tutorial. I'll also put a link to another free DLOOKUP tutorial that I have that involves a little bit of programming, but it adds some more flexibility. So if you want to learn DLOOKUP, check out those tutorials and check out my website. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. I do my best to get back to as many people as I can. I sometimes get tons of comments every day, and I love reading them. I do. I read them all, I promise. Um, but I don't always have time to answer them all. So if you post a question, I'm sorry if I don't get back to you, but, um, but I do read all your comments. Thank you very much. As soon as they add that, uh, that 25th hour in the day, I'll make sure to get back to everybody. But thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you real soon.